Hello guys and welcome to your 23rd Java tutorial in which we will be going over more 2D graphics in Java. Uh, so it should be a really fun tutorial and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I've added four new import statements so you guys should probably go ahead and copy these down. All of them are from the abstract window toolkit package. Uh, and it's the color class, the ellipse 2D class, line 2D class, point 2D class, uh, and we will be using them in this tutorial. Uh, so right, right uh, as we get started, I just want to note uh, that from our previous code, here we use g2.drawRect, which uh, simply outlines the shape we wanted it to draw. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So here we have an outline of a rectangle, but if you wanted to draw and fill this shape, you would use g2.fill. And all this would really do is uh, simply fill the shape. As you can see here, fill it with the color that you have currently selected. And I'll go over colors in this tutorial, so uh, don't fret. Uh, so let's get started right away with our classes, and uh, let's create an ellipse. So how would we do this? And now let me type this code right now and explain it after, because it might seem a bit confusing. Uh, and I know what you guys are thinking, what? But don't worry, everything will make sense after this tutorial. All right, uh, let's see if I can type this correctly. And I'll just plug in some values, uh, I don't know, 100, 100, uh, 50, and 20. There we go. So, what exactly did we do here? Well, guys, Ellipse Duty is a class, but there is something called an inner class, which is pretty much uh, the, th the thing we accessed through this dot operator here, the double. Well, double is an inner class of ellipse2d, and it pretty much defines ellipse1. It defines its object graphically, uh, and it's how we store these points. So ellipse2d.double ellipse defines uh, the graphic shape of uh, ellipse1, which is what we're creating currently. And once again, it's related to the storage of these uh, coordinates that we gave to it, and uh, the coordinates are actually x, y, x and y coordinates of the center, uh, here's the width of the ellipse and the height of the ellipse. So now that we've actually done that, let's uh, g2 dot fill this up, uh, fill this ellipse, and run this program. Bam! We will get an ellipse that's just chilling or right next to our rectangle. Uh, all right. Now let's continue on uh, with a line, and you might have guessed this. But the way we declare a line is almost the same way through the dot double, dot double inner class. Uh, we're going to set it equal to a new line 2D dot double. And we are going to specify the x, x and y coordinates of the first point. And let's just make that 150, 150. And the x and y coordinates of the next point, which we will make 100 uh, f and another 50. Uh, so, now that we've actually done that, we've defined our line, let's just draw this line out on the screen by using g2.draw, and let's put line 1 in the argument. Uh, so let's run this program, and what will we get? Oh, alright, sweet. So we got like, we got a rectangle, we got an ellipse, we got a line, awesome. And you guys are probably thinking, well, what the heck is a point? Uh, well, in this case, a point is pretty much just, uh, something that we can use with it together with a line so a point is just a defined location and we create a point once again by using point 2d dot double uh, we'll just name it p1 and set it equal to a new point 2d dot double uh, x and y coordinates are simply defined here uh, so let's just define a 200 200 uh, point yeah so it's 200 on the x, 200 on the y. And let's create another point just before I go on with my explanation. Uh, let's call it P2. And let's change the coordinates to be 500 and 200. Yeah, let's make it a horizontal line. All right, and points are used very closely with lines because you can actually draw a line from two points. Uh, and in Java, how you do this is, well, let's create a new line, line 2 double. Oop. There we go, double L2. Let's just call it L2. I, I, don't know, I don't know why, but, you know. I just feel that way, you know. And if, we can, if I can type correctly, uh, everything should go fine, and we can simply draw the line from the two points by putting P1, P2 for the two points that we want to connect. In this case, uh, with a line. 
Uh, so that's all we really did. All I really wanted to show you guys was how to create these points. You won't really use them that often, but uh, it's just still good to know how to how to use points uh, together with lines. Uh, so if we uh, hit OK here, we should get... Oh, sorry, guys. All right, there was no line there because I forgot to draw the final line uh, in which we connected the two points. All right, sorry, guys. New bearer. All right, let's continue. Hit the play button. Hit OK. Bam! Look at that. What a beautiful line right there. Just right down the, right down the middle of our window. That's great. All right, uh, so we've pretty much gone over all our all our graphical classes. So we have what a rectangle, ellipse, line, a point. What what the heck is this color class used for? Well, the color class can be used to, to draw in different colors. And how we actually do this is we set our G two variable, our graphics studio variable. We can set its color to something else. We can set it to something new. And how we can do this, we can create a. This is I'm going to show you a few alternative ways. We can create a color for example red and set it equal to a new color class right and this color class takes a few parameters R G and B and these are pretty much red green and blue values and these can range anywhere from 0 to 255 0 through 255 for each one and by the way guys if you didn't know any color can be created uh, using values from 0 through 255 oh, sorry any color can be created using um, different different uh, ratios of red green and blue and these uh, 0 from 255 values just represent the ratio of red green and blue we have in our color so for example if we wanted to have just a red color we would put 255 the max value for red uh, and a 0 and a 0 on the other one we, on the other ones because we don't want to have a green or blue plus present in our red color and how we would set our color is we would simply put red in the parameters for this one for this G2 thing and what this would give us now is that everything would be drawn with red. And check that out. Everything's drawn with red. Looking cool. Uh, and we can really change this to anything we want. We can change it to blue. We can start, like, doing crazy mixes of colors, you know, doing some cool stuff. Let's see how this color looks. I'm not even too sure myself. Uh, all right, there we go. You know, hard to see. Hard to see color. Uh, and we can actually do this. We can change colors after every, every every time we draw an object, so they all appear in different colors. So G2 dot set color, and I'm going to show you another way of setting a color. Instead of like actually manually creating a color object, we could just do this part and plug it directly into our parameters here. Set it equal to a new color. We're just creating a new instance of a color, uh, and let's make it all blue. Let's make this one all blue. 255 and a zero here. That's one way to do it. Or another way to do it, and I'm going to put it right after uh, ellipse, right after our, our drawing of the ellipse so that we have another color here. We can set the color to uh, color dot yellow, for example. And yellow, and we could do this because the color class has some, pre has some predefined constants of colors, really common colors that are listed all right here. We can use, uh, sorry guys, that are all listed right here, uh, magenta, orange, pink, yellow, there's a ton of them. And it's really easy to access them, and you don't even need to borrow, bother with creating them here. And sorry, I forgot a parenthesis here. Uh, so those are really the three ways we can create colors, and uh, let's just run this program and see how it looks. All right, sweet. So what, we got like yellow for our lines, we got a blue ellipse, and we got like a, what, a white, yellow skin color, I don't know. Uh, pale, pale kind of rectangle there. Uh, so I think that's about all the time we have for this tutorial. Yeah, guys, I just checked. That's pretty much uh, all the time we have. Uh, so once again, all we just quickly recapping. Uh, we use the dot double inner class of ellipse to d to graphically define an ellipse in this case. Uh, here to define a line. Here to define a point. These are x and val y values of a point. For a line, this is the x, x and y value of the first point. Here's the x and y value of the second point uh, with an ellipse. This is the x value and y value of the center. Here's the width. Here's the height. All right, you know. And we also set colors in three different ways. Uh, we can simply manually create an object. Uh, we could uh, set color to a new color, pretty much doing the same thing inside of parentheses. And by the way, we could we're, we mix we mixed values, or we can simply use a constant. 
Uh, so once again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next tutorial where we will be going over some more cool stuff with graphics. Uh, and peace.